how do you measure the fuel? Now, there's a few different ways that this has been done over time. Sometimes it's related to, like we did with gasoline and talk about octane ratings. Uh, sometimes there's, there's all kinds of different methods and they, they can vary from one manufacturer to the next. Waksha wanted to come out with its own way. We understand the fuel is primarily based on the information we get from an engine like the CFR. So we came up with the Waksha Knock Index. We look for where that resistance detonation is for the gaseous fuel between our digesters and our propane and whatnot. But we actually take a full look at the fuel, not just the what makes it burn, but also the other stuff that's in there, be it a nitrogen or a CO2. How does that speed up or slow down the combustion process? We still work off of methane being 100 WKI or our most neutral fuel to run on, but we do see variation based on not just the volatile components, but also the inert components like a nitrogen within the fuel because it will affect how it burns. Looking at this chart, we can see right in the center, our commercial quality natural gas sits somewhere between 90, 93, sometimes 88 to 93, but we'll just say roughly 90 WKI. That equals out to a BTU level or a British thermal unit or how hot we get out of that fuel, 930. If we do that instead of in the imperial method into the metric system in terms of megajoules, we end up with the 36.7. Well, you end up with less energy when we come down here to digester and landfill. Well, we look, we go from 900, 930, all the way down to 600 with digester and 400 with a landfill. I then said that our propane was a little bit more energy. Well, we end up with our 2300 BTU here and then that field gas, we said, kind of had a little bit of everything in it, and it ended up at about 1,500. Our engines are expected to run on all of these fuels from all the way down here, all the way up. Now, if we were going to compare that to what you have for your octane rating on your engine for your car, you're going to basically be right here. Between your 88 and your 92, 93, you're going to be in a window that's right here. So your engine will still operate very, very easily. We're looking at the extremes of, hey, I've got a whole lot of energy here and it'll almost burn very easily on its own to, I need a lot of this fuel in order to balance things out. So if we look at our WKI number or that resistance to detonation, you let propane out, it's not just gonna burn on its own, you still need to have an ignition source, but it's much easier to light off propane than to light off something next to a landfill. So how much of it do you need before it becomes volatile? So coming to the CFR engine in terms of Waksha history of engines, this is something that's derived from understanding field gases, all of the different components that can be in there, and some of these other components that aren't considered in a methane number. Methane number is how others figure out how volatile a fuel is. So it is more common for people to know what that number is. This is actually an item where we have to try to educate both our customers as well as others within the industry that we do not use that method of measurement. But then we provide tools, whether it's the InchCalc program or actually a WKI calculator in order to show people how to do that.